Hey, how's everybody doing? Pretty good? Yeah? What's everyone doing for Halloween? Yeah, I know that I'm pretty sure a lot of our viewers don't run around with candy bags and knock on people's doors. They might, though. Because, you know, I see a lot of people do that. Some people, you know, 40, 50 are still going around like, knock on candy. I just had Mr. Day's 300th video, and I said in that one that I'm going to continue to make videos with excellent quality. A good movie premise. Which I'm not afraid of, by the way. There's no reason to be afraid of But sometimes people take it to the extreme, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I was just kidding you oh, guys. How you doing, everyone? Just, uh, it's Mr. Up. Anime. Or you can call me Trey. You can call me the guy that does the video gamer. Have a good day, everybody. Oh, and if you have time, make sure to click. Eh, you know the drill. Have a good one. Hey, you and welcome. My name is Mike, and in this whole video, we're going to be looking at, hmm, what's the best way you could put this? Um, it's the story of a popular enough at the time YouTuber who went crazy over time and then um, did some very bad things. This is the disturbing story of Mr. Anime, an anime fan, surprisingly, who planned something big, thankfully didn't carry it out, but did do something else utterly horrifying. On the now long abandoned YouTube channel Lens Cap Productions, Mr. Anime, real name Trey Eric Sesler, reviewed anime, made little movies, all that kind of stuff. Shit got pretty real in 2012 when Trey uploaded a video titled Mr. Anime is Planning Something. And then not long after that, uh, well, you know. Let's look at the story and the unraveling of Mr. Anime. We don't know much about Trey Eric Sesler's childhood. He was born in August 1989, grew up in Texas with his mom, dad, and older brother. Short background in this case, but uh, but that's all you really need to know. Because in September 2006, Trey, he shed that name and became Mr. Anime. It began with short little movies, skits, that kind of thing. Yeah, I bet he's here to get our money. But he ain't getting it. Yeah! You look a little upset. I know what it is. Are you tired of always being depressed? Always letting the enemy get you down? Apparently you don't know Joe Holstein, because if you did, you'd be watching him instead of me. <laughs> I love all people. I love the little children. Throw it here, Joe. Throw it here. Fail. Touchdown with Joe Holstein. That's right, son. With me and you, we will make your life a touchdown. I'm not going to make you suffer through all of uh, this, because this is early YouTube shit uh, type stuff. Um, you know, movie trailers, action sequences, comedy, quote unquote. You open this door now! His videos do have a lot of guns in them, however. Like, weird, I wonder if that's gonna come up again later. And this video he uploaded. Also, weirdly enough, I wonder if that'll come up again. So basically just like your match. Set your shirt down. Foreshadowing. Wow. He looks very healthy uh, in these videos, but uh, he won't uh, look like that for long. So anyway, Mr. Anime, Reviews to Come was uploaded in September 2007. And that's when things really took off. Over time, he did less of the trailers and goofs and stuff, and the channel solely became Mr. Anime. Apparently, he helped inspire some of the biggest names in the anime community today, and he was a very well-known personality in that internet niche. Hey there. Welcome to today's episode, which just so happens to be episode two. Today we're going to be reviewing a show that had a very large impact on audiences all around the world. Anime fans and people that didn't like it so much. That's right. There it is. Evangelion. 
And right off the bat, I gotta say that I really love the box it comes in. I mean, look at this. It's hard, 10 individual DVDs. Well, what can I say? Let's take a look at some of the footage. I mean, right off, when I heard the intro music, I was stunned. I was like, whoa, this is wonderful. I gotta watch this intro every time. Usually I just run the intros up. I guess we can start going over the characters. Right. Uh, well, it seems like a regular, well-adjusted young man. Uh, I'm sure his reviews were very thoughtful and well-researched. Um, yeah, things now will start slowly going the other way. As we edge into 2011, his videos take a dark turn. We don't really know why. The reviews become stranger and he kind of shows himself descending into something. Allegedly, around this time there were messages spouting up on the internet that he was killing animals at night. Sometimes pets, sometimes bigger things. Zombie Lone is a fairly new anime. It aired over in Japan in 2007. Uh, the main character is a girl named Michiri Kita. She's a girl that can see dark rings around people's necks. And in the anime, that means that if you have a dark ring around your neck, you're dead or about to die. And the darker the ring gets, the closer you are to death. And it's around this point that he starts acting stranger than ever. This video right here is the turning point. We don't know what caused the injury. Some say it could have been an animal defending itself or a person attacking him. But this is the snap. Because of uh, legal and insurance purposes, I cannot disclose what the accident was. But uh, I will not be able to appear on camera for a little while until um, I become, you know, well, I'm on camera right now, but uh, I don't exactly look good on camera right now, if you know what I mean. So, I'm okay. Not that injured, just a little bit. But, uh, I'm still going to be reviewing the Japanese. He seems to be losing whatever grip he had. For whatever reason, we don't know. Hi. I'm Mr. Anime. I don't really have a show for you. I don't even know why I'm here. Like, my executive producer dragged me away from the bar I was chilling at. Why don't you do a video about you being fucked up and drunk? And I was like... I don't want to do that, you know? Like, I don't get drunk, and I'm not down for doing videos during the middle of the week that have nothing to do with anime reviews. Now, in this video, it kind of seems like he's acting, right? Pretending to be drunk? Um, well, acting or real, either way, his alcohol abuse will be a key part in the story. In the videos from then on until the end, something is very wrong. You can see it in his eyes, and the videos, they have quite a bit more violence. Oh, how you doing everyone? It's Mr. Anime. Or you can call me Trey. You can call me the guy that does the video game reviews, you can call me the guy that does all the gun stuff now. Uh, what I have here today to show you is a high point. Now, for those of you that are familiar with high point, you might have a very low opinion of them, or you might have a high opinion of them. I think they're uh, pretty decent, especially for the price. I have here a very classic 995. It shoots 9mm rounds. 10 round magazine comes standard with it. And you can also buy an optional 15 round magazine. But you know, I like really big clips, so I wish it came with like a 50. He looks drunk, off his head on something, and let's be honest, not someone who should have a gun. And here he shows off his ferret, which he will uh, later kill. Which honestly, he, he could have killed it right in this video. Like okay. a okay. weird cat tail. These things are really strange, like, I've thought about getting them before, but they're just weird looking, I mean, look at this thing. What, what the hell is this, you know? I mean, yeah, I know it's a ferret, but it's just... I mean, it's... Oh, it's pretty adorable. I gotta... Oh, ow, ow! So, what caused this turn from... You know, we can pretty clearly see it's a turn from a normal young man into something much darker, someone who is dead behind the eyes. Well, during the later police investigation, investigators combed through computers seized from his house and car, as well as his handwritten journal to gather clues about why he would do what he did. Trey became obsessed with serial killers and mass shooters, and he began studying how to do it. He was gathering weapons on how to become the next one. Big fan of Columbine, this guy. 
and it seems like he began to have the same disassociation and fantasies that many mass shooters have. He actually spoke about it earlier before he would become one. I'm ranting on all the shootings that have been happening. Uh, Pittsburgh, New York, Alabama, California. Um, it's like every day I get online <clears throat> and click open Yahoo or whatever I open and let the publicity fill my mind with bad thoughts about uh, the place I live. So I don't know what's going on. You know, they had an article that were like, well, the economy's gone bad. Everyone's losing their job and getting mad and shooting everybody. Yeah, I guess that makes sense since all a lot of the shooters lately had <laughs> recently lost their job. But um, I'm a firearms owner myself, but uh, it's, uh, it is it is a little bit disturbing to know that you could be a victim in something like this at these times. All the people that were victims, you think it won't happen to me, but sometimes it does. But seriously, every day I open Yahoo, I'm like, well, time to see what today, time to see what today's shooting is, and hey, there's another one. So I don't know when it's gonna stop. I think it's why, why. He later, not long before the end in 2012, would reveal he was suffering from pneumothorax, which essentially is when a lung is on the verge of collapse. I've had a little bit of shortness of breath lately, and a, a little bit of back pain and stuff, and. I haven't been sleeping too well, my eyes are a little swollen, that's why I'm wearing these sunshades and uh, it seems like I've uh, got the diagnosis of uh, pneumothorax, um, basically um, leaking air from my lungs and uh, my lungs uh, are running the possibility of collapsing. So I'm, uh, I'm going to be out of action for a little bit. He recovered, however, it was just a minor case of pneumothorax, and the slide into darkness continues. Should have been a major case. And now we get to the end of Mr. Anime's YouTube journey. The third last video he uploaded on his channel is probably the most famous. Mr. Anime is planning something. He says he'll take a break, and planning something big, he is. He seemed more like his old self in this video too, which I guess should be more worrying than reassuring. I want to thank you guys a lot for sticking with me and watching the channel. Uh, I got more subscribers than ever. I have more views than ever and uh, everything is going really good. So um, I'll probably be putting out some blog videos, like I said, and I hope you enjoy those blog videos. I hope you definitely enjoy those. and. Um, the Google AdSense thing has been going great, and uh, I really appreciate you guys um, clicking on my uh, page. Well, I won't say it, but you guys know what to do. And I'll uh, I'll see you with some blog videos. Thanks for watching my channel. Although in his next video, he looks bad again. So after watching Welcome to the NHK and learning about the NET meets, which are people that are not in employment, education, or training. Well, they used to be called status zero about 20 years ago, but they finally changed them to neats. And as for me, a neat? No. I like to get out and do a little funk sometimes. Just trying to make and shake it. He's really lost the plot at this stage. He was unemployed until it seems his last video. He got a job, hooray. Good news is that I now found a full-time job in a department that I'm uh, interested in, which is film. Maybe he'll be alright then, he got a job. Wrong. It would be a week later after he uploaded that video, his last video, that what happened, happened. After binge drinking all night on March 19th, 2012, he snapped. He decided he was going to shoot up a school the very next day, a week after his last video. Having been studying these acts for years, he knew what he was doing. However, one thing that was holding him back from doing this was that he didn't want his family to be ashamed of what he was going to do. In the early morning of March 20th, 2012, Trey lured his mother out into the garage, where he shot her in the chest multiple times at point-blank range. From there, he entered the home and shot his brother in the head. His father was woken up by the shots and entered the living room to investigate, only to be shot by Trey. After it seemed that not all had died instantly, he went back and shot them all again as they lay on the floor. 
The police would later find remorseful words written on the walls in black marker, including, I love my family. Trey then destroyed the house and killed the remaining pets before carrying weapons and a hundred rounds of ammunition to Waller High School down the street. His original plan was to kill at least 70 students at the school's pep rally in order to become the biggest mass murderer in history. However, for one reason or another, he decided not to go through with it, and instead went to a friend's house. The bodies in Trey's home were found, a manhunt began, and Trey was arrested. The reason he didn't seems to have been that things became too real. That's what he said in his confession. He seemed to have gotten to this place by believing that this was a video game. But only after murdering a family which he loved very much, he realized it wasn't. That these people had lives and that they mattered. And that he could never take back what he had done. He finally had a realization, a conscience. But by then, he'd killed the people who loved him more than anything and his life was now over. It didn't have to be that way. A lot of YouTubers who started out when he did in that niche are now huge, and he seemed to have been well liked in the community. But no, he wanted to do the next Columbine, but discovered he couldn't go through with it. But by that stage, it was too late. He was sentenced to life in prison. And so ends the story of Mr. Anime Lens Cap Productions and Trey Eric Sesler. Well, he's actually still alive um, in prison, so I guess the story could still be ongoing, but I can't imagine he's up to much, or it'd really be that interesting. So we'll leave it there. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, if you'd like to see some more of my videos, please watch them if you'd like to. And subscribe if you want to see future videos. Uh, you can also check out Twitter and Instagram where I'll, where I'll post random shit. And you can check out my Patreon for exclusive videos and early videos and a Discord. So do if you'd like to. I will see you as always real soon in the next video. Mike out.